Hi, welcome to my video on is a function of part four. So this part, I've done this is the fourth one now. This one is on if you have a statement in relation to two ordered pairs like x and y. So let's try some of these to see what I'm talking about. Different ways. Just then, the previous video was on y equals mx plus b. But this one is presented different, and here we go. Let's see what I'm talking about. Two people have the same plan for their long-distance monthly calling. Person A paid $30 for 80 minutes. Person B paid $35 for 100 minutes. Write the linear equation with cos C as a function of T. So just to remind you, we have a left side and a right side of this linear equation. That means we have the cost in terms of C is a function of, cost is, a fu cost is on the left, function is on, T is on the right. And that means the ordered pair that we have is a C and T because the right side is the independent variable and the left side is the dependent variable. So we have, instead of an X and a Y, we have a C and a T. Time gives us cost. So we have an ordered pair. We pay $30 for 80 minutes. So that means we have 80 minutes and we're paying $30. And the other ordered pair is that we're paying $35 for 100 minutes. So it's 100 minutes and we're paying $35. So again, repeat, T and C, minutes and cost, uh, minutes and cost. So we have a slope formula, but the slope formula here is time, T1, and cost is C1, and we have T2 and C2. So instead of X1, Y1, X2, Y2, we have time and cost. So the slope is C2 minus C1 over T2 minus T1. So that gives us 35 minus 30 over 100 minus 80. So 35 minus 30 over 100 minus 80. And that gives us 5 over 20. And 5 over 20 reduces to 1 over 4. And remember, this is cost. So this is $1 for every 4 minutes, as you can see. Or notice, dollars over time in minutes. And there's two ways I can go now. So I can write out C equals slope time plus your intercept, not your y-intercept, but your cost intercept. So if we take an ordered pair, we could say, let's take the 80 and the 30. So that's the T and the C, and we have a slope of one quarter. So we plug C in as 30. We plug the slope in as one quarter. Plug the time in as 80. When I say plug in, I mean substitute in. And we have our cost intercept. So 30, one quarter of 80 is 20. So 30 minus 20 equals B. So B is 10. And B is the intercept, is the cost intercept. So we have an equation, C equals one quarter T plus 10. And that's the equation, the linear equation that represents this telephone plan. And B, we have another one. A water bottle is being emptied. That means it's, the rate is decreasing, it's going down. At three seconds, it contains 175. At seven seconds, it contains 75. So you can see it's decreasing. Write a linear equation with the number of liters L as a function of the time. So again, I put these variables in make sure the equation is going to be like I'm doing. So again, we have a, a left side and we have a right side. So the left side 
is the number of liters is L as a function of the time is T. So that means my, or, my ordered pair is time giving you the liters. That's the independent variable and that's the dependent variable. So we have two ordered pairs. Let's see what we have. At seven seconds, it contains 75 liters. Seven seconds, 75. And at, oh, I, should, I could do three first and make, okay, to make any difference. At three seconds is 175. So it doesn't make any difference which one I put in first. If I switch it around, it makes no difference. I could put the three and the 175 first and the seven and the 75 after. But if that's what I'm given, then you can see as time goes by, it's going down. So, but it makes no difference. So I have the, uh, again, the equation is T and L. So the slope is L2 minus L1 over T2 minus T1. So if you call this one, the time is T1, L1, T2, L2. L2 is 175 minus 75. So it's 175 minus 75. And it's 3 minus 7. So that's 100. Give me a minus 4. 100 divided by negative 4 is a negative 25. So it's a negative 25 liters per, and it's in seconds, S for seconds. So that's your slope. Now, if you want, you can use the point slope form or go back and use the slope intercept form like I did here. But just to vary it, I will do the, uh, the point slope form. So I'm going to take the point 775 and I'm going to take the slope as a negative 25. So it's, if you think about it, we have an L minus L1 is M times T minus T1. So it's like a Y and an X, but it's, remember, that's X and Y, so it's an L. Think about it, that's X and that's Y. So you can see why it's L minus L1. So it's L minus 75, negative 25 for the slope, and it's T minus 7. And we multiply the right side, negative 25t plus 25 times that is 175. And let's see what we have, 25 times t, and we get L equals a negative 25t plus 175 plus 75. And L equals a negative 25T plus 250. Perfect. And that's the equation that represents the water bottle being emptied. So it's emptied at a rate of negative 25 liters per second. And it started off with 250. And again, if we just check it, if you check with the other number here, if you check with um, this one, if you put 3 in here, you get a 75, 75 out of that at 175. Perfect. And practice means pause the video and work this out to see if you get the right equation. Do one at a time to see if you're right. Here we go. We have a left side and we have a right side. It's an a car distance, a car's distance from a starting point is recorded. After two hours, it is 170 miles. Three hours later, it is 410 miles away from a starting position. Write a linear equation with the distance d as a function of the time. So we have left side, right side. We have the distance d as a function of time. So that means the order pair is t d because this is independent, that's dependent. Time depends on the distance. 
or distance depends on time. So plug your time in and you get your distance. So the equation is, we can write it down. We have, let's see, we have an ordered pair. Let's see what we have. After two hours it is 170. So two hours, 170 miles away. Notice three hours later. So three hours means it's already two. Three more hours, that makes it five hours. Three hours later, it's 410. Okay, here we go. And we, it's a linear equation, so we're looking for y equals mx plus b. And so it's related to the distance. Distance is m t plus b. So here we go. This one is time, so it's t1 and it's d1. This is t2, d2. So the slope is d2 minus d1 over x2 minus x1. So the distance is 410 minus 170. The time is 5 minus 2. So that gives us 410 minus 170 is 240 all over 3. 240 divided by 3 is 80. So the rate is distance divided by time. So it's uh, 80 miles per hour. And we put it into D equals MT plus B. So I'm going to use the first point as 2 and 170. And I'm going to use the slope as 80. So D is, is 170. Slope is 80. Time is 2. Remember, I'm using T and D on this point. So it's 2 plus B. So 170. 80 times 2 is 160 plus B. 170 minus 160. I'm leaving my B on the right side and moving my 1-6. Makes it a little bit easier. That gives me a 10. Oops, make that a 10. And so my equation is distance, rate is 80, and time plus 10. So the rate is 80, and the B is 10. So I'm subbing into this equation. D equals MT plus B. So the rate is a function of time, and the rate is 80, and the starting, starting off at 10 miles from the starting point. Okay, number two. A truck company depreciates the value of one of its trucks using a certain formula. In the third year, the value was 12,000. In the fifth year, the value was 8,000. Write a formula for the linear equation with the value as a function of t. Again, we have left side, right side. We have the value is a function of t. That's the way the equation got to be written. And so the equation is time giving you your value. Because this is dependent, that's independent. So independent is like x and y. So it's t and v. So time gives you value. So your ordered pairs are the third year. The value is 12,000. In the fifth year, the value was 8,000. So this is T and V. So this is T1, V1. This is T2, B2. So the slope is V2 minus V1. Remember, that's like an X and a Y. And so it's T2 minus T1. So it's 8,000 minus 12,000. And it's T2 is 5 minus 3. And that gives us a negative 4,000 on the top and 2 on the bottom. So it's a negative 2,000. So what is the negative 2,000? It's the value over time. So that's $2,000 per year. 
and if you want to do point slope or do slope let's do slope intercept most students like the slope intercept so we have the equation is v with a slope in terms of time and plus an intercept so the v is let's see what the uh, points are we taking we're going to take the point which is this one which is 3 and 12,000 and we're going to take the slope that we calculated to be a negative 2,000 so V is equal to negative oh, V is 12,000 okay let's see if I can straighten it sorry for that let's take the 12,000 slope is negative 2,000 and the time is 3 so this is T and V we're taking T and V with this slope and plus the B so that's 12,000 negative 2,000 times 3 is negative 6,000 plus B so 12,000 add on 6,000 gives you the B, so B is 18,000. So my equation, V equals MTB, so V equals slope is negative 2,000 times T, and B is 18,000. So $18,000 is the initial cost of the car, because when time is zero, that gives us zero, 2,000 times zero, so the initial value of the car is 18,000, which is your intercept, but it's going down. And that's just uh, one variable is a function of another done differently from the point of view of two ordered pairs. If you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and write a comment if you wish. And visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com. And I have three sections, me, my degrees in teaching experience. Video section talks about the strategies you're going to use to help you learn your math. The section on content uh, has the videos and the number of, has the topics and the number of videos on those topics. On my YouTube channel, the black font is the topics that are there right now. And the red font are the topics that will be there in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.